Children gathered in the Yokosuka Library as the magic of the winter season got a little more magical. With this year's visit from the one and only Colonel P He's brought magic and laughs to Yokosuka Naval Base for decades for both the parents and the kids. We came to see Colonel Popcorn because my son is a, an aspiring magician. So he was very excited that he was coming back on base this year. I started touring with the military about 20 years ago. I find it rewarding, find uh, the audience appreciative. The child audience is the best audience in the world. You can never ever get tired of a child audience. They're very, very sincere. They'll, they'll tell you very quickly whether they like your show or not. Not like uh, the parents that will be polite and just sort of yawn and then get out and never come back, but the kids will tell you. So you learn to be a very, very, I want to say, sharp and polished in doing your, your trade because they'll, uh, they'll catch you pretty quick if you're not. Colonel Popcorn performs at military bases across the globe with Armed Forces Entertainment. And one stop he makes every winter is always Yokosuka Naval Base. But Colonel Popcorn says this year will be slightly different. Yokosuka is uh, almost like a home to me now. As I say, I've been coming here for many, many years. This tour I'm doing right now, I'm leaving Yokosuka before actually Christmas Day, which will be different for me because I've celebrated on Yokosuka base for 20 years and I won't be here this year. The change in schedule didn't stop children from gathering to share the laughs. After the performance, kids stepped away with a smile, a story to remember, and even a balloon animal souvenir. Petty Officer Kirk Putnam. Yukoska Naval Base, Japan.